What's happening fam? It's your boy Avionics back with another tutorial video on how to use your Canon EOS M50 or GoPro Hero 7 Black as an NDI source inside OBS Studio on a Mac computer. But first, give me that intro. Okay, so like I said, you can accomplish all of this if you already have these cameras. And matter of fact, you can use both cameras at the same time, like me, if you've got all the equipment. If you don't know already, OBS Studio is an open broadcasting source program where you're able to stream to all kinds of places like Facebook Live, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, all that, and more. Now before we get into the nitty gritty, please watch this video up here first, as this tutorial of mine will show you how to set up OBS Studio from scratch and the NDI plugin required this video is a prerequisite so go watch that video or the link is down in the description and then come on back to this video the ndi plugin will not only transmit video but also audio being that both of these cameras have built-in mics or you can add an external microphone source doing so will eliminate the extra step of adding an audio input capture in obs studio which might cause a delay between that audio and the actual video from the cameras so if you don't have the next following items I'm going to be talking about, please consider purchasing them through my Amazon affiliate links located below in the video description. Doing so will support me and my channel into making these awesome tutorial videos for you guys. So please consider that. Thank you in advance. So after you have the cameras, the next thing you're going to need is a capture card of some sort. I'm personally using the Elgato HD60S capture card. I use this one personally for PS4 gaming and for live. DJ streaming at my Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv backslash DJ underscore avionics. The Elgato HD60S capture card requires a USB 3.0 connection to your computer or laptop. So please be sure that your computer laptop does have USB 3.0 ports, otherwise this will not work. Next, download the OBS link from the Elgato website. OBS link is a small program that lives in the menu bar of your Mac. It grabs the incoming video for the HD60S and converts it to an NDI display source. The NDI signal can then be captured in OBS Studio using the NDI plugin that was in the prerequisite video that I mentioned earlier. Here it is again in the corner or link down below. The next thing you will need is the proper HDMI cable to connect from your M50 or GoPro to the capture card. You will need a micro HDMI to HDMI cable such as this particular one that I use. In my opinion, Ugreen products from Amazon are very reliable accessories. Next, connect the included USB 3.0 cable that came with your capture card to it and then to the computer as this cable will provide power to the card and transmit the video and audio into the computer. Now open OBS Studio. Now go ahead and open up the OBS Link program. Click on the icon in the upper right hand corner by the battery and clock and make sure Elgato HD 60S is visible and checkmarked. OBS Studio will now be able to communicate with the capture card. Create a scene by clicking the plus sign and giving it a name. Create a source by clicking the plus sign and select NDI source. From the source drop down menu, you can now see OBS link available. So go ahead and select that and then the display should show up in the preview window. It usually takes a few seconds for the signal to show up. Go ahead and scale and position to your liking and you're ready to stream or record with overlays. Now if you have extra camera devices such as your iPhone, Android phone or iPad or tablet, you can add those into the mix to be able to have multiple camera angles in use. I have a tutorial video for that as well located here in the corner so please check that out link is also down below in the description as i mentioned earlier in this video i'm using my gopro hero 7 black as my secondary camera angle for my live dj streaming providing a top-down point of view once again check me out at twitch.tv backslash dj underscore avionics please hit that follow button and that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and learned something from it if so, please hit that like button, leave any comments or questions down below, share the video to share the knowledge, and please consider subscribing to my channel and ring that notifications bell so you can be notified of future videos that may be of interest to you. Alright guys, I'm DJ Avionics, see you next time.